By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to set up and use the Hypno Screen Space Mask VRC3 prefab. We'll be first setting it up on your avatar, and then I'll be showing you how to use it in VR chat. So let's go ahead and find the prefab first. It's in Value Factory, Screen Space DLC, prefab. There's actually three. First off, we have the empty flipbook for you to add materials. This is going to contain a VRC Fury setup that is going to let you add your own uh, materials that you can flipbook between. So essentially just swap between uh, with ease. The other one has a bunch of these materials already set up for you to flip between. There's like 47, as you can see. And then the other, the last one uh, has none of that none of those flipbooks and it will instead just only have one hypno material on it and will not let you swap between any other one for the sake of the tutorial we're going to be setting up both of these both the multiple hypno and the single material one so let's go ahead and find a bone to attach this onto i'm going to be attaching this onto the right hand and the left hand as well you can put it on any bone you want so let's just go ahead and find the right hand i'll put the multiple hypno material on the right hand Let's go ahead and position it now so that it looks natural. So I'm going to be positioning it, it in such a way that looks like I'm holding it by the snout. Something like that. Looks good. And then let's find the left hand and put the single one on there. Like that. Same thing there. Just position it so that it looks like it is I'm holding it, essentially, by the snout. And there we go. And now because we have multiple screen space masks, we're going to want to unpack both of them and change the menu path to something else. So right click prefab unpack, right click prefab unpack. And now in the first one, I'm going to change this to left. And you're going to want to do this for all the menu paths. So you're going to place a little bit of text here. Like that. And then on the other one, I'm going to be set, setting this to no mask. Right, that should be good. Now, on this mask right here, I'm going to be setting up my own hypno material. So, you can go ahead and use one of the existing ones right here that we have included with the Screen Space DLC, or go ahead and convert a normal one, such as the Angry Plant one, by just setting the variance to Screen Space and dragging it onto the Screen Space volume of the mask, just like that. And as you can see, it's a bit weird because we have both of them kicking in at the same time. And this one that we just set up doesn't have a fade in. So let's set the fade in by setting the rendering mode to the, the transparency and then adjusting the start and end distance to however we like. But I think this is fine. So now this one has the material set up. And if we want to add our own material swap into this, maybe you're going to be using this one with a bunch of material swaps or the one with no material swaps. Either way, you're going to want to find this plus right here. Click it, scroll down. You're going to be adding a new page by doing that and say add action, material swap. Then in the renderer, drag in the screen space volume and then you just need to set up the material that you want to swap into. So we're going to be swapping into Angry Plant again. And that's about it for the avatar setup. You can now go ahead and upload this to VRChat. And we'll be going into showing you how to use the screen space masks in VRChat now because they have a bunch of features. So now in VRChat, we can go ahead and open our radio menu. And as you can see, we have the left and the right hypno mask menus. So how do we end up using these? Well, there's a bunch of options for you to use here. First off, enabling it will just enable it on the place you've positioned it. So now it's on my hand. As you can see, I can see it. So this just kind of lets it be attached to our hand and just enables it in the first place. It, it'll enable it for everybody in the instance, essentially. And sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you only want to see it for yourself. So you can press this instead. This will enable it, but only for you. So only you will see it and nobody else. So you can kind of like position this in the place you want it to be. And then just later on enable it once it's positioned. You can also go ahead and hide the hypno, but only for you. So everybody else will see it, but you will not, which is useful. And now speaking about positioning it, you can go ahead, let's enable it, and drop it into the world, which will detach it from your hand and place it into the world. So you can go ahead and put this like on, you know, somebody's face or close to somebody and it'll, you know, it'll do the hypno effect. You can also go ahead, if my, there we go, my radio wasn't working. You can also go ahead and now, choose a different hypno effect, right? So we have this radial 
this flip book that we set up and it has all these various effects for you to choose from. This is the one we added at the very end, as you can see. Of course, the, the other one doesn't have this. The, the left one that we set up does not have this effect or it does not have this option. That's fine. And yeah, and the last thing that's very useful is show helpers. This is also going to be only shown for you, but on this one, we don't have it set up on that effect. Um, but all the other ones are going to have it set up. And what this is going to essentially do is it's going to show the range of where the hypno is going to show up and where it's going to be um, fully visible. So the green sphere shows when it's going to be visible, essentially. So if we get into the green sphere, we're going to start to see the hypno effect. And when we get into the red square, it's almost there, we're going to fully see it, essentially, right? And now we didn't see it on this one because we haven't set it up in Unity. And the way we do that is we need to first of all unlock this material and go into range helper and just animate this animate show range helper and that's all we need to do essentially and then we can go ahead and re-upload this yeah can go ahead and upload this now and it'll have the same thing and also um the hide hypno thing won't work on this as well because we haven't set the uh the hide the hide toggle right here to be animated so if we set this to animated, it'll start to animate itself. And yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's about it. This is how you set up and use the screen space hypnomask in VRChat. Have fun.